Breaking news on Eric Cantor's political future. Cantor has made up his mind about his role as House Majority Leader. Sources tell CNN's Dana Bash Cantor will resign as House Majority Leader. His decision is setting off a Republican scramble to fill the power vacuum. So let's now go straight to Chief Congressional Correspondent Dana Bash for more on this. All right, Dana, when is Cantor going to step down and who's tossing their hats in the ring to become the next House Majority Leader? Well, our understanding from Republican sources, senior Republican sources, is that uh, July 31st is the date that he says that he will stay until. But I should tell you and underscore that Cantor's office is not saying anything. They are radio silent uh, on, on this. But this is what we're hearing from people in and around these discussions. The other caveat is that if the House Republican leadership decides to have, uh, or the, co the conference, I should say, decides to have elections sooner than that, perhaps he could step down sooner. We're not going to know the answers to that. Probably for about another hour and a half, the Republicans are meeting at 4 o'clock, and a lot of these things will be discussed and perhaps decided. And, and what about the, the Republicans that a lot of people are eyeing to take over his role, Dana? Well, the number one uh, person that we're looking at is Kevin McCarthy. He is now the number three uh, in the House Republican leadership, the House Majority Whip. People who watch House of Cards will know what that is. Uh, he uh, is not very shy about, uh, and certainly his aides are not shy about making clear that he would like to move up a notch to be the House Majority Leader. He is likely going to have uh, some competition for that. And then that will leave his job open if he actually gets it. So there's, gonna, there's a scramble, uh, and this is not going to be easy, especially when you're just not talking about individuals. You're talking about wings of the House Republican Party, wings of uh, mm -hmm. the caucus that represent different, very important aspects, like, for example, the Tea Party or the mainstream. Yeah, and I think, a lot, you know, adding to this is just how surprised everyone is that Cantor was defeated. I mean, even you, Dana, didn't really see this coming. Is that right? I, I absolutely, no one saw this coming. And more, most importantly, Eric Cantor, and maybe even the winner here didn't see this coming. Before we go, I just actually want to play uh, for our viewers, I believe we have it, uh, some new sound that we just got in from the House Speaker, the first words that he has said about the defeat of his number two. Listen to this. Eric Cantor uh, is a good friend of mine and he's been a very good leader for our party. Uh, he's got some uh, decisions to make, uh, but uh, uh, I'm sure that he and the family uh, will come to the right decision. So not a lot of new light shed there, but it is important that, uh, that we just heard again uh, from the House Speaker for the first time, Pam.